Hey there guys, this is Obsidian Chill. Got another video for you today. And in this one we're going to be covering the new changes that happened on the weekend in terms of the feats and the content. So this is going to be uh, a part of a feat that you have to find Cheetah nine times. Now these are the most common rotations that I found. It basically is a big circle of content. So kind of uh, slow down my, where I'm running, checking the spot. So as you can see where I'm kind of moving back and forth, that's the most common spawn for Cheetah. So we've got another one here that should be in that corner. Essentially, Cheeto will be laying down, kind of kneeling. Um, and then once you touch her or get near her, she will trigger the, basically the spawn. And it's about three or four seconds before she disappears. So if you got in a group or you're following someone, um, that's why a lot of people are camping spawns because they can disappear pretty quick. But honestly, it doesn't really matter what phase you're in, PvP or PvE. Um, and really it didn't seem like a set respawn time like I was doing when I first did it in a group uh, really I think we were finding like 30 second spawns like we'd find her 30 seconds later we'd find another her and again uh, during this route we did the same route at the exact time there was the same route that you see in this video uh, and other times it was like 10 minutes five minutes like we couldn't find her and then we had to switch phases so really I'm not sure what kind of uh, discipline that follows in terms of how she spawns but uh, following this route is pretty much the best advice I can give uh, because you're always going to find her at least at some point. So she's sometimes hiding in bushes, sometimes she's raised platforms like this, uh, other times that she's kind of corners. And then she's got spawn points in each of the sections. So the uh, Apocalypse section, the Olympian section, Ares. So this is the other one that's a little bit annoying for super speed because she's always on the roofs up here. And as you can see, someone else is in the spawn, so it's... You'll find a lot of people camping the spawns, which is the unfortunate thing, especially because they can get her right away when she spawns. Um, the only one the, that we weren't too sure about, um, I'll put up a map as well, and I'll leave it in the description, like an image of where she, the spawn points are. But uh, apparently there's a spawn point here uh, in the back corner of the Atlantean spot. I never saw one here, but others have. So these will be the fastest routes, and check for the image in the, in the comment section. And then actually what you want to see is the actual results and how much damage they do. So let's uh, take a look at that here. Uh, previously, the Creepy Critters henchman did release with the Halloween seasonal. Uh, I didn't cover that directly in the video because it, it didn't make sense to do a single video just for that. So I did test that. That's where they fall. Um, kind of pretty much normal. Less than the Shadow Wolves backup. Less than the Shadow Minions, Chaos Damons, Dawnbreakers, Dark Robins, Lexcorp. So it's, it's kind of near the bottom. Uh, it technically does 10% more damage than the Halloween seasonal itself. I think it's more just there as kind of like a gag seasonal henchman. But um, damage-wise, uh, lackluster. But that brings us to the Cersei uh, Beastie Morphs henchmen. And they are not exactly what I was expecting. So if we go back down here to Sewer. Uh, sewer, Hide of Modern. These are the three rifle-based ones uh, that were pretty much always at the top. Um, sometimes they have RNG parsers that are some better than others, depending on how many times they did mortar or flamethrower. But as you can see, the beast morphs are actually a lot better than the sewer hide up and modern. Um, now I will say, as you saw in the video, um, it's in every situation is not going to be better. Ideal, like perfect scenario, the beast morphs will be better because uh, they do sonic shout uh, more frequently. Uh, but because they're melee based, they're going to jump in, they're going to body block and melee. So it's much more likely in content, like I say in a raid, they could die from splash damage from the boss. Where the sewer, hideout, and modern are all max range damage. Like they don't always have to do flamethrower, they can spam mortar and still do the same amount of damage. So 
The rifle ones will be safer because they're going to be maxed range damage, but the BC Morphs have much more potential because of their attack pattern and being melee based. So, you know, just be mindful of that. Uh, so it's the, in you know, best case scenario, you'll be doing a lot more damage with these Beast Morphs, so definitely want to get them in your inventory. Um, I'm not sure how often they drop. I haven't got one yet on my farming, but I picked one off the broker for like 5 million, so uh, that's pretty cheap. So... That was the three targets that was tested at CR 295, which is where I test everything at currently, uh, so that everything has the exact same results. Eventually, I'll get around to testing at 321. On single target, same thing, creepy critters, nothing to write home about. All the same as pretty much all the other henchmen. Uh, same thing, beastie morphs, even on single target, slightly better than the modern and sewer. Um, so, single target, kind of a wash, they're all but the same. But once again, because of how much better these are on melee, uh, or sorry, on, on AOE targets, uh, it's, it's much better to run that um, just as a universal one rather than Sewer Modern, especially because Sewer is 10 bucks. Uh, the only way to get Sewer is the uh, layer. So obviously you don't want to spend $10 to get that where you can get this for free, technically. And the Modern one is free as well. So there's your, there's your option there. Wasn't expecting that, didn't expect them to be that good, but they are now the new best henchmen in the game, uh, mathematically, uh, the Cersei Beast Morphs. So definitely get a hold of those, because it'll serve you well. So the new counter mission that they added, um, well, I said the weekend, but technically came out on Friday. When inside of Patchwork Themyscira, at the very front, you get this new statue, uh, pick up the mission, and it's basically destroy stones. So nine stones gets you the... Uh, the mission complete, but there's actually a counter that goes much higher than that. Uh, so you'll see the, in the first clip here, the example, essentially what happens is uh, Cersei will come out during the fight uh, with the bounties, except on Hydra, doesn't come out on Hydra, and then uh, will turn you into a beastie morph, and you have to turn the cog on numerous crystals. So depending on how long, like if it goes, like the DPS is slower and the fight goes on for a while, more will spawn. If the DPS is quick and destroys the bounty pretty quickly, then you have a limited amount of stones. And the stones will disappear the second the bounty is killed. So say you have a stone that you're running towards and the bounty dies, it'll disappear. And then you'll see here how much the counter goes up. I think towards it, I think the this fee was about five hours for me because I was averaging about 37 per rotation because the DPS was pretty good in the group and we were burning them down pretty quickly, but your mileage may vary. I just uh, farmed away. I had a movie up on the other monitor and that's pretty much how these counter feats go. So take care guys, thanks for watching.